Hi! Hi folks! At the end of last year, I reviewed the numerous failures of Sea Shepherd for 2011. I'll have a link to that video in the description. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to review with you the 2012 failures of Sea Shepherd this past year. That's what we're going to do, kids. Review the failures of this cult group. In the early part of the year, 2012, in January, they were engaged in a campaign in the Southern Ocean, which they call the Vine Wind, which turned out to be a passing wind, when their vessel, the Bridge of Bordeaux, was damaged, cracked by a huge wave, and it had to leave the activities and go back to port. Failure. The Japanese vessel, the Shona Maru No. 2, was tailing the Steve Irwin where the fugitive Watson was aboard. He feared being arrested by a so-called security detail on the Japanese vessel. So they talked three hapless Australians into going out on the Zodiac and illegally board the Shona Maru, this way slowing the Shona Maru down to which it would have to probably go back to an Australian port to drop these three hapless Australians off or go back to Tokyo to uh, have them face charges. Well, the Shonamaru fooled them. They still stayed on the Steve Irwin's tail and told the Australian government, if you want these three hapless men, you're going to have to come get them. So the Australian government, at great cost, had to send a vessel out there to retrieve these hapless men at the cost of $500,000, of which Sea Shepherd refused to reimburse this Australian government any part of that money. Failure. So now Sea Shepherds in the Southern Ocean harassing the Japanese mariners and aboard the Steve Irwin is the fugitive himself. Well he decides he's getting out of the action because the Shonamaru was tailing him. He was afraid of being arrested. So he sails back to the safety of the Australian waters and in the Southern Ocean he left cabin boy Peter Helmethead to continue the illegal work of the organization while he was in safety in the Australian waters. Failure. The Cove Coward Guard in Jintaji, Japan are harassing the locals there. A group of Japanese citizens from Osaka decided to go to Taji and confront these brave defenders of the sea. Once confronted, the Cove Coward Guardians jump into their vehicles, shivering in fear, drive out of town with a police escort. Wait a minute. These are the people that pound their chest. We're willing to forfeit our lives to save the creatures of the sea. Unless they're confronted, then they run like cowards. Failure. The cult leader, the fugitive himself, is in Germany. He gets arrested by German authorities because of an outstanding arrest warrant or an extradition request by the Costa Rican government for some alleged illegal activities that he was engaged in 10 years ago in Costa Rican waters. The suckers around the world pay a $320,000 bail for him so he can be free in Germany where he won't be incarcerated in jail. He's ordered by the German authorities not to leave Germany. Well, he finds out that the Japanese issued an extradition request for him and he jumps bail, forfeits a $320,000, leaves Germany without a passport because he feared a Japanese jail more than he feared what he said was going to be an execution in Costa Rica. Failure. Back to Taiji, Japan with the Cove Coward Guardians. A new member comes on board. He climbs a statue, bends the spear that he was dangling from. He gets arrested and Sea Shepherd immediately throws him overboard. They throw him out of the organization saying, sorry, we have an agreement with the Japanese. We will not break their laws or damage any of their property. So they threw the guy out. To which I have to say, really? Or as we say in Japan, Majikayo! You don't break the laws or damage their property? What do you do in the Southern Ocean? When you interfere with their business, which is against Japanese law, and which you damage their vessels with your paintballs, your broken glass, your acid and attempted to foul up their propellers. That's not causing damage? Failure. Sea Shepherd purchases a vessel, the Sam Simon, and they said it was from the Germans. It was exposed to be a lie that the vessel, in essence, was purchased from the Japanese. Once that 
lie was exposed, Sea Shepherd then says, wait a minute, we tricked the Japanese into selling us that vessel. You tricked them into selling them that vessel? That vessel was costing the Japanese money as it was dormant in a Japanese port. It wasn't producing any revenue. So you take this vessel away from them that was costing them money, so now it doesn't cost them money, and then you award them $2 million into the Japanese economy. And that's a trick? No, that's a sea shepherd failure. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, the most liberal court in these here United States of America that continually rules in favor of left-wing causes, ruled against Sea Shepherd, ordering Sea Shepherd to stay, get no closer than 500 yards to a Japanese vessel, to a Japanese whaling vessel. And Sea Shepherd is saying, you have no jurisdiction over us. We'll go wherever we want. And they're vowing to violate that 500 yard restriction. And there's an argument back and forth as to what the ramifications will be. You want to know something? No argument here. Go ahead, violate it. Go ahead and claim they have no jurisdiction. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what the ramifications are. Such as your charter being revoked in the state of Washington. Such as your IRS tax deduction, tax exempt status being revoked by the Internal Revenue Service. Go out ahead, violate it. Failure. Hi, right, folks. That review is the failures for Sea Shepherd in 2012. I was not able to go over all of them, but I'll have them in the description. And to Sea Shepherd, I would like to say, Domo arigato gozaimasu. I am very grateful for you for having these failures because it provides me multitudes of material to make these videos. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And may God be with the fishermen of Taiji and the Japanese mariners on those whaling vessels. See ya.